be a little bit. It's currently 5.28 and we gotta be a little bit quiet so I don't wake up my roommate but you might be saying Haru, I saw you day in the life you don't wake up at 5 well this is a one habit I'm implementing to be more productive and get better grades because I want to graduate so if those sound like things you're working towards maybe this video is for you Man, I know waking up at 5 is not for everyone. So, towards the end of the video, I'm going to share with you how you can be more productive without having to wake up this early. Man, the moon's still out. And that's the first reason why I love waking up so early because no one is around. There's no distractions. So you can really focus on what you want to do. For me, that's study, editing, and uh, pass my courses. So the reason why I wake up at 5 a.m. is that in the mornings, I have the highest energy levels and I have complete clarity in my thinking. So I can really focus on a task for hours on end without any distractions. But it's not really about waking up early, it's more so about finding when your optimal energy levels are. I learned this chart in class, let me show you. So look at this. This is energy time. Right here is 5 a.m. and right here, 11. So when I wake up, I'm a little bit grumpy, but it goes straight up and then it stays there for a little bit. But when I have class, lunch dips down a little bit. If I work out in the afternoon, it jumps right up and later. So you can actually map yourself out on this chart and think about when these peak hours are so you can try to get your most productive work done. Alright, done working here, but waking up early is more just about being focused. There's another really important reason I must tell you. After I finish the gym. Okay, cut, 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 cut. All right, the second reason for waking up early in college is that you simply get better sleep when you go to bed earlier. There's a myth out there saying that every hour slept before midnight is worth two hours of sleep. Well, technically that's not true, but in the first third of your sleep time is when you get the most restorative sleep. So when you go to bed earlier, when you wake up in the morning, you'll actually feel better, more energetic, and have focus to do your homework or whatever else you want to do. Oh, I actually got to go to class now. All right, I'll tell you the last point after class. So right now I'm heading to class, but before I go there, I'm gonna make a protein shake. But today's more of a work session, so it's okay. <laughs> so right now it's 
it's around 1 p.m. I finish all my classes and I am done for the day. So the rest of the day, I have to film a video for my K-pop class. Filming music video for today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll make a YouTube video about that. Should I? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. And then I'll go meet up with some friends and later in the day I'll probably just finish some work and edit this video. So I hope you realize this video is not really about waking up at 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 3 p.m. whatever. Doesn't matter. It's really about finding the times when you're the most productive and optimizing your day around those times. It just so happens that for me and for a lot of people, early in the mornings is the most focused and productive times. So you can use an energy chart to see when you're the most productive. And for me, around 10, I'm just scrolling on Instagram. Those two hours, I can move into the beginning of the day and get a lot more work done. So you have more free time to do the things you actually want to do. Discipline really creates that freedom. Make sure you subscribe because my videos are never a waste of time. Anyway, I'll see you. Peace.